This is the setup for the digital wildlife camera, the TC11. This was well reviewed on Amazon. So I also saw a YouTube video that showed the quality and I thought that it would work out well for what I'm doing. I bought two of these and potentially I'll buy more, but this shows everything that comes in the package. And I'm gonna show you the setup process with a brand new one. So you get it here. It's got little plastic film that you'll wanna take off. This part is a little difficult down here to get, but if we get this off, there we go. Then we can look around it. So we got the camera, we've got the LED lights that's gonna help with seeing in the dark. Then on the back, there's a place where you could tie it around a rope. There's uh, down here, a section where if you wanna hook it up to a tripod, you could do that. There's some different attachments in here that you're able to use to help attach it to a tree or to your house or to whatever. But that'll use that tripod mount and even some screws here if you were going to connect it to a house or a structure all right then down here on the bottom if you get a power adapter for it you could hook it up by dc power um, but you can also of course run it on battery which i think most people will be over here you have the water seal uh, to close it all up so you can undo it and open up here and this is where all the magic happens. Being able to uh, review all your stuff on this little screen here, and they've got buttons, and you've got where you put in your batteries. So we're gonna put the batteries in here. And you got your SD card here. And look, it's already turned on. That was pretty simple. So we've got 16 gig SanDisk SD card, which should be plenty for what I'm doing because I should be reviewing it pretty often. So we get this thing in here and let's see, currently it's on the setup mode. Now the first one I set up, it actually was on the off position at the beginning, but this one for whatever reason was in the setup mode already. So yep, so we get it turned on with the setup mode. And yep, it's recognized our SD card. So it says there's an SD card in here. Down here on the bottom, you can have a USB where you could pull the video footage off if you don't wanna take the SD card out. You've got this AV port, which would be for audio. Um, if you wanted to plug in some uh, headphones and be able to listen to what the video looked like. And of course you switch this to the on position when you're ready to deploy this device. This is just in setup mode, so we can go and make the adjustments necessary. So you've got the menu button up here. We'll hit menu and we'll go through all of these modes here and settings. So we have the mode, photo, video, or photo and video. I'm going to photo and video, hitting the okay button. Then we've got going down the list, we've got photo resolution. You can have it on all sorts of different settings. I'm gonna turn mine up to the highest, which is 24 megapixels. So I get the best out of it. Photo series, you can take either just one photo, two photos, or three photos. For me, I'm gonna be going with three because I wanna get as much as possible. It will probably uh, impact the battery life of the device, but I'll be checking them pretty regularly and switching batteries out as needed. All right, then we've got video resolution. We're gonna go full 1080p. Video length, five seconds. I'm gonna bump that up to about 10. So that's a good audio recording. It's just either yes or no. I'm gonna leave it on because you never know what it'll get. And that's not gonna change battery life hardly at all. There is shot lag. And I'm not sure what that's all about. So definitely check the comments down below because I'll probably look it up and I'll leave it in the comments. But yeah, one minute or you could do two minutes. So yeah, we'll just leave that the way it is sensitivity motion sensor so low medium or high uh it's hard to know what i would for sure want because what i'm wanting to record is pretty like pretty drastic things so i'm actually going to set this to low just because i don't want a ton of unnecessary videos because um, for the most part what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to catch 
potentially trespassers, which would be like vehicles and things. And that's going to be very blatant, very easy for the camera to know that it's uh, something's going on. Uh, target recording time. Um, let me see. Uh, set target recording time. Start minutes, minutes per hours. Okay. So if you wanted to record a certain point of the day, each and every day, you could do it. I don't think I'm going to be needing that, but I believe that's what that's talking about there. Then we've got the time lapse. Uh, let's see. If you wanted to do a time lapse, you could do that to get a progression of photos over a long period of time. I'm not too interested in that, but let's just hop in there, see what it would look like. Yeah, so you could set it up to, you know, do, you know, the sunrise or something, or just to see how the animals are moving and stuff, um, if that's what you're recording for. So I'm going to turn this off. Yeah. Then we've got language. That's pretty self-explanatory. Time and date. So to set the time and date here, I'll go and set this correctly uh, down the road. Oops. Yeah, so... But yeah, by just using the arrow buttons, you can get to the right date and time and all that. I'll go back and get that set up later. Okay, then we've got down here, photo stamp, date and time. Yes, yeah, so you want to make sure you have a date and time on the photo. It might cut down a little bit. Shouldn't cut down the quality, I'm not sure. But it'll be overlaying the photo. So unless if you wanted to use the full photo for something and you didn't want time and date, you can turn that off. Password protection. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you can set yourself a passcode on here. I'm going to hit back because I don't want to set one right now. But that's really neat to password protect it. And then beep sound. If you don't like this beeping sound, you can turn that off. Format memory card is what they actually recommend you doing every time that you put a new SD card in here. So we're just going to go to format. I already formatted it on my computer, but this might format it in the correct way that it wants. And they might put certain files on there so it can... Uh, work really well with the device and then down here we have serial number uh, well actually hold on let's see what this is serial number set so if you wanted to set it so you know which one is which you could do that interesting and then down here we've got reset settings uh, which I'm pretty sure this would be pretty self-explanatory yep and then down here we have the version of which one it is maybe the date when it was made, different stuff. Um, so that's cool that we got that. And there you go. That's all the modes in here. On the screen, you can see that it has video on here and it also has uh, says 1080. And it shows you have an SD card up here. That's the current time that it's seeing. This is the current date that it currently has. It does have a mode here to look at the battery. And then I believe over here, you can look at shot and play. So you can do a little test there. Yep, but you'll be able to review these in the field as it, you get it deployed. So you can set it to turn it on. Oh, hold on guys, hold on guys, okay. Yep, so you can get it to set, so when it's, t it's turned on, it'll be ready to go. And then it's just, deploy it's doing its thing it's going to take photos it's going to take videos and there you go play button you hit the play button and it's going to play you know those seven images or however many photos you have and you'll be all set perfect that's a good picture to kind of see how it would look um if we go to okay oh there's the video Perfect. And you can, okay, and then over here you can delete the current file, delete all files, active slideshow, or write protect to like protect it. Okay, cool. Nonetheless, that is really helpful to be able to see how all that works. You can see kind of like, oh, how's that camera gonna work and all that. But that's really good. That's really nice. The fact that you can do all this for like, you know, I spent like $35, $40 on this guy 
for that to be there is really good. Of course, when you're thinking about buying one of these, you do need to think through the entire cost of the unit because it's not just, you know, it's not just the unit, it's the unit plus the SD cards plus the batteries. You gotta have all that stuff and then you'll be all set, ready to go. Yeah, these, um, yeah, for these, these would work pretty well to be able to adjust and be able to hook this up. It does have out here, so you could screw this into a tree or something and then mount this onto it. Yeah, there's different ways so you can get the angle you want for sure and not just have to use rope, but it did come with this, which I think is really nice. That's gonna be really helpful to to use that I very nice okay very good well i hope this video has been helpful for you guys yes this was the digital wildlife camera the tc11 and hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully it works out well for you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one leave a comment if you have a question bye